My next patron question is from Jonathan, who is curious about one of the MPA's most common rating descriptions. Most times, when the MPA views films and gives them a classification of PG and PG-13, for most films they give it for these three specific terms, thematic elements, thematic material, and thematic content. Sometimes they use the more descriptive terms, mature, strong, intense, and disturbing, and from these three specific terms, mostly for its PG-13 rating. The R rating and NC-17 rating hardly use these descriptions for warning parents of content. I always wonder what these terms actually mean for movies. Since you and most film critics think that these three specific terms are a waste of a rating, especially the PG rating for mild thematic elements or brief thematic elements, what films do you think is a waste of a rating because of these terms, and which ones do you think that these terms actually give a warning to something? I've talked about this before in a few videos about the MPA ratings, but one pet peeve I have is indeed when a film is simply rated PG for thematic elements. What this usually means is that there's nothing inappropriate in the movie for a young audience, but the studio did not want the stigma of a G rating, which most often associate with movies only for really young children rather than for general audiences. It's such a vague descriptor, and doesn't really mean much of anything. An example I often cite is Disney's live-action version of Cinderella from 2015. That movie was rated PG for mild thematic elements. There's no profanity, sex, or violence, with the most violent action occurring in the movie coming from the stepsisters ripping Cinderella's dress and the stepmother smashing the glass slipper. I guess the mild thematic elements could refer to the deaths of a few characters, including Cinderella's parents. But these are done tastefully, and the most it'll do is cause some audience members to cry, which is the intended emotional reaction. There are other movies that similarly are deserving of G, but got hit with a PG and the thematic elements description. Hey Arnold, the movie of all things received a PG for some thematic elements. The content in that movie is not that dissimilar to what you might find on the television series that children happily watched on Nickelodeon without a fuss. Recently, Ugly Dolls was rated PG for thematic elements and brief action. Ugly Dolls! Putting aside the brief action for a moment, I don't recall anything in the movie that would upset a child, especially not so-called thematic elements. The Jackie Robinson biopic 42 got a PG-13 for thematic elements including language. That one is a bit more understandable. After all, the movie is about how Robinson faced racism during his baseball career, and it shows how he was treated, including racial slurs being thrown him, among other disgusting actions. However, this also highlights the vagueness of thematic elements, because thematic elements do not tell you the movie has scenes of racial prejudice. And isn't the point of the MPA description supposed to inform parents of the sort of material shown in the movie that considering taking their children to? It should be able to give an idea of that, while still fitting within the confines of that little ratings box. That's why I think 42 should have been rated PG for language and scenes of racial prejudice, because that tells you exactly the content featured in the movie. Interesting enough, the film Race, another biopic about a famous black athlete, Jesse Owens, also received a PG-13 for thematic elements and language. The addition of words like some, mild, and strong can also be confusing and not entirely consistent. NC-17 rated films often use words like explicit and graphic, which makes sense. However, I find it very interesting that the upcoming Marilyn Monroe biopic Blonde has been rated NC-17 only for some sexual content. That's the kind of rating description you might see on a PG-13 or R-rated movie, but not NC-17 movie. The Fifty Shades of Grey movies even add words like strong, graphic, nudity, and erotic in their ratings descriptions, and those were all rated R. It only raises questions of what exactly is in Blonde that necessitated the MPA's harshest classification. Back to thematic elements, it's definitely a rating description that makes me roll my eyes more often than not, because it tells you absolutely nothing about the content of the movie, and too often feels like an excuse to avoid the G rating. Thank you for your question, Jonathan.